Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, so recently I watched a video by Grace from GK Reads, I think it was a week or two ago, probably two weeks, where she did this video about the 100 must-read classic books um, from Penguin Books. Um, and this was as chosen by our readers, according to Penguin Books. Um, and it was really interesting to see what the list contained. You know, of course it wasn't very inclusive, uh, but I thought it was interesting. And uh, I really enjoyed watching Grace do it, so I thought I would give it a shot. This um, 100 Must Read Classic Books was published on February 22nd of this year. So I've got my laptop here uh, pulled up. I've got the website pulled up, so I'm going to um, go through them. I'm not. It's a long list, of course, it's 100 books, so I'm not going to spend time on each one. I'm just going to basically say whether or not I've read it. Okay, so let's get into the list. Uh, number one, Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. Yes, I have read that. It's a very good book. Highly recommend that. Number two, To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. Absolutely. I read that in high school for the first time, but I read it again. Um, number three is The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. I have not read this book, but it is on my TBR list for this year, so I will be getting to it very soon. Uh, number four, 100 Years of Solitude by Gabriel Garcia Marquez. I have read this book it was, uh, a couple years ago. I don't really remember much about it. I think I liked it at the time, but I might have to revisit it. Uh, number five, In Cold Blood by Truman Capote. I have not read this book, but it's on my TBR for next year, so I will be getting to it very soon. Number six, Wide Sargasso Sea by John Jean Reese. Jean? Is this a female or a male? I'm not really sure. I don't know who this is. Uh, I've heard of the book, but I have not read it. Number seven, Brave New World by Aldous Huxley. I have not read this book. I'm not really interested in reading this book. Um, I've heard good things about it, but it's not really the kind of book that I'm interested in reading. Um, so I may not get to it ever. I don't know. Uh, number eight. Here's my dog, Charles. Number eight, I Capture the Castle by Dodie Smith. I have not read this book, but I am interested in reading it. It's not on my TBR at the moment, but it is a coming of age story and I really like those. So I may have to, I may have to visit this one soon. Uh, number nine, Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. Absolutely, I've definitely read that. Love that book. Uh, number 10, Crime and Punishment by Fyodor Dostoevsky. Crime and Punishment, I have read part of Crime and Punishment. This is one example of a book that I um, did not finish, but not because I didn't like it, but I believe there were extenuating circumstances at the time that got in the way of my reading. This was years and years and years ago, um, so I will have to revisit that one. So I haven't read the whole thing, no. The Secret History by Donna Tart. I have not read this yet. I have read The Goldfinch by Donna Tart and loved it, um, but The Secret History is on my TBR for next year. The Call of the Wild by Jack London. I have not read this book. I don't really have an interest in reading it, um, but I might. It's a you know it has an animal in it. it, has a dog in it, so I may I may read it at some point. Thirteen, The Chrysalids by John Wyndham. I this is a post apocalyptic novel, I guess. I have not read this book. I do like that sort of topic, so I might I might put this on my TBR for some point. I have not read that. Uh, number 14, Persuasion by Jane Austen. This is one of the Austen books that I have not read yet, um, but I will get to it at some point. I love her work. Uh, number 15, Moby Dick by Herman Melville. I have read Moby Dick. I read it in high school, which was a million years ago. Um, I do want to reread it at some point, so I may. 16, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe by C.S. Lewis. Definitely, I've read all of the Narnia books. I really enjoyed that book, particularly. Uh, number 17, To the Lighthouse by Virginia Woolf. I did read this book a long time ago. I think I was in my 20s when I read it. I probably could benefit from rereading it. I don't really remember it, um, but I have read it. Number 18, The Death of the Heart by Elizabeth Bowen. I've never heard of this book before. Um, I do like the cover of it, um, so I might have to look into that one. Mm. Number 19, Tess of the D'Urbervilles by Thomas Hardy. I have read this. 
uh, I think a couple years ago. I really enjoyed it, I remember. This, but as we know, I have a terrible memory, and I was not keeping my book blog at that point, so I don't exactly remember the whole story, but I'm sure if I started to read it again, I probably would remember something. Number 20, Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. I absolutely have read Frankenstein um, about 10 years ago, I think. 21, The Master and Margarita by Mikhail Bulgakov. Bulgakov? I've never heard of this book, and I have no idea what it is about. Um, Spine-chilling story was censored by Stalin. Ooh, I might have to look into that. Sounds interesting. Uh, number 22, The Go-Between by L.P. Hartley. Also never heard of this one, so I've not read this one. Uh, Young Boy's Loss of Innocence, that's right up my alley. Um, Victorian era, I might have to put that on my TBR as well. Number 23, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. I remember looking at this book in high school in the library, but I don't believe that I read it. I do not remember anything about it. I know something about the film, but I don't even think I've seen the film, to be honest with you. So no, I haven't read that one. 1984 by George Orwell. I did read this, but I couldn't tell you anything about it because it was so long ago, I just don't remember it. Dystopian, so I'm sure I, I would like it. Um, number 25, Budden Brooks by Thomas Mann. Nope, I have not read it. I know who Thomas Mann is. I feel like I've read something by Thomas Mann, but it wasn't this book. So, no, I did not read this one. Semi-autobiographical family epic. I would probably like it. Uh, number 26, The Grapes of Wrath by John Steinbeck. I have read this. Yes, twice, I believe, I've read that. Uh, 27, Beloved by Toni Morrison. Mm, I don't think so. The problem with books like this is that I've seen this movie, and I might be confusing the fact that I've seen the movie with the book, um, but I don't think I've read the book. So, But I really like the film, so I think I would like the book. Um, number 28 is The Code of, Worc of the Worcesters by P.G. Woodhouse. Nope, I've never read anything by Woodhouse. I don't know anything about this book. So, I don't know if I'd be interested in it or not. If you've read it and you liked it, let me know. Uh, number 29 is Dracula by Bram Stoker. Believe it or not, I have not read Dracula, but it is on my TBR for next year. Um, so I will be getting to that. Number 30, Lord of the Rings by J.R.R. Tolkien. I have read those books. Uh, I really enjoy them. I love them. I think I've read them about three times. Uh, 31, The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn by Mark Twain. I have read that. I also read uh, Tom Sawyer. I liked them. People think they're problematic, and you have to read them with historical context in mind, which I do, and I did enjoy them. Uh, 32, Great Expectations by Charles Dickens. Yes, I read that before I started doing all my Dickens reading this year. I think that was the only Charles Dickens book that I've read before this year. So, yes. 33, Catch-22 by Joseph Heller. Uh, no, I haven't read this. I've seen it all over the place, of course. It's a classic for a reason. Um, but I have not read it, so... Um, no. I don't know if I'm interested in reading that. Maybe. Uh, the Age of Innocence by Edith Wharton. Oh, I'm trying to remember. I have read an Edith Wharton book, but I do not think it was this one. Um, maybe Did she write Ethan Frome? I know I've read that. I don't know if she's the author of that. I think she is. I don't think I've read this, though. Um, 35, Things Fall Apart by Chinua Achibe. Ch Achibe? Achibe? I have not read this. I believe this is on my TBR for next year. Uh, Middlemarch by George Eliot. This is on my TBR. I have not read it, but I'm very much looking forward to it. So that is coming up, but I haven't read it yet. Um, Midnight's Children by Salman Rushdie. I have not read this. I've read, I think, The Satanic Verses. Is that what it's called by, by Rushdie? But I think that's the only book that I read by him. Uh, 38, The Iliad by Homer. I have read this many years ago. I worked at a bookstore when I read that. 39, Vanity Fair by William Makepeace Thackeray. I hear this book is really good. I haven't read it. Um, I am interested in reading it, though. Uh, number 40, Brides Had Revisited by Evelyn Woe. Woe? Woff? I've not read this. I believe somebody's doing a reading project of this, or was doing one recently. Or somebody was doing a buddy read, maybe Matthew from Avery Books. Somebody 
like that. Um, I haven't read it, but it sounds interesting. It, it has a family dynamic, which I like. 41, The Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger. Yes, of course, I've read that. Uh, I love that book. I don't care what anybody says. I think it's an, a great book. Um, 42, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. I have not read this. As much as I enjoy Alice in Wonderland, I have not read the book. I don't know if I'm actually interested in reading the book. Uh, number 43, The Mill on the Floss by George Eliot. I have not read this. Um, I'm sure I would love it. That kind of book is up my alley. Um, number 44, Barchester Towers by Anthony Trollope. I have not read any Trollope. I hear good things about his work, so if there's something you think I should start with with Trollope, let me know what it is. Uh, 45, Another Country by James Baldwin. I haven't read anything by James Baldwin yet, but I will be soon. I have two books by him on my TBR for next year, so I will be reading something by him, but I don't believe this is one of them. Lame is a Rob by Victor Hugo. I have not read this book. I don't know if I'm interested in reading it. Um, I'd really have to look into the the re, the story of it. I haven't. I don't think I've even seen a film or a play or anything. I know what it is, of course. I've heard the title a million times in my life, but I've never read it or seen actually seen anything about it. Forty seven. Charlie and the Chocolate Chocolate Factory by Roald Dahl. I have not read this. Of course, I've seen the films, but I don't think I would need to read the book if I've seen the films. 48, The Outsiders by S.E. Hinton. I have read it. actually have it. I, I read it again uh, last year, so that was a new, uh, recent one. The Count of Monte Cristo, number 49, by Alexandre Dumas. Yes, highly recommend anything by Dumas. This is a great book. It's big, but don't let that intimidate you, because it's a very fast read, and it's a real great adventure. Uh, 50 by... 50 is Ulysses by James Joyce. No more James Joyce for me. No interest in reading that. I haven't read it and I'm not going to. Um, 51, East of Eden by John Steinbeck. This is a Steinbeck that I have not read, um, but I would read it because I really enjoy Steinbeck's writing. 52, ah, I love this book. The Brothers Karamazov by Fyodor Dostoevsky. Love it. It's a great book. One of my absolute favorite classics. Probably my... I would say second favorite classic after The Three Musketeers. 53 Lolita by Vladimir Nabokov. I hear this book is actually really excellent. I have not read it, but I'm interested in maybe reading it at some point. Um, 54 is The Secret Garden by Frances Hodgson Burnett. I did read this in high school. Probably I was in like ninth grade or something when I read it. Um, I have to say, I wasn't really encouraged to read very much, even in high school. Nobody really pushed us to read anything. I mean, we had reading assignments, but but no one really sort of want, you know hoisted reading upon us. But I read a lot in high school. Uh, 55, Scoop by Evelyn Wall. Uh, I have no idea. I've never read anything by her, so I don't really know what this is about. Um, so I haven't read it. Uh, 56, A Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens. I haven't read this yet, but it is on my TBR for next year because my Dickens will continue into next year. 57, Diary of a Nobody by George Grossmith and Whedon Grossmith. I have no idea of what this book is. I've never heard of it before. Um, so no, I have not read it yet. Attempts to Live a Respectable Middle Class Life. Riotously Funny. Hmm. I'm not really into comedy, so I'm, I might not read that one. Number 58, Anna Karenina by Leo Tolstoy. This I will be reading very soon. I actually have a copy up on the top of this shelf. Um, so yeah, I will be getting to that. I haven't read it yet. 59, The Betrothed by Alessandro Manzoni. Nope, not read this one. I have no idea who this person is. Uh, is it worth my time? Let me know in the comments because I don't know anything about that person. Uh, number 60, Orlando by Virginia Woolf. This I will be reading mm, next year. It's on my TBR. Atlas Shrugged, number 61, by Ayn Rand. You know what? Uh, I have a hate-hate relationship with Ayn Rand. I started to read this book, and her books are so long, for one thing, and they're just so tedious. It's bad enough that they're really long for no reason, but they're tedious. Um, she says the same things over and over again, and it's about industry and, like, self-serving people who are really into themselves and I have no interest in that so no 
I didn't finish it. That is one book I DNF'd. Um, it's rare, but that one happened. Number 62, The Time Machine by H.G. Wells. I've heard of this book, but I have not read it. I don't know if I've read anything by H.G. Wells, to be honest with you. 63, The Art of War by Sun Tzu. Did I say that right? Um, I have not read this. I don't know if I'd be interested in it. It's about military strategy, maybe? Uh, navigating the workplace or everyday life? Hmm. Probably not. I don't know. 64, The Foresight Saga by John Galsworthy. Hmm. I've never heard of this book. It's interesting that it's Foresight and not Forsyth, which I would expect. Multi-generational saga, though. That sounds good. I love that kind of a thing. So I might read that. Uh, number 65, Travels with Charlie by John Steinbeck. I have not read this one. Um, is it a different Charlie? Is this about a dog? I think it's about a dog. I might read that. I have, well, I don't know if it's about a dog, but there's a dog in it, it looks like. I would read it. I like John Steinbeck. 66, Tropic of Cancer by Henry Miller. Um, I heard this book was not very good, but I don't know. It was banned in the U.S. and U.K. for 30 years for being too pornographic, and undoubtedly there are smutty moments. I don't know. I, that's not really interesting to me. Number 67, Women in Love by D.H. Lawrence. I have not read this. I might, though, at some point. It's not on my TBR at the moment, but I'll have to look into it. Number 68, Staying On by Paul Scott. Never heard of this book. Uh, never, ever heard of it. I don't think I've ever heard of Paul Scott, the author. So um, it's about India and life after the British rule of India. It sounds interesting, but I don't know anything about it. If you've read it, let me know if it's good. Number 69, The Wind in the Willows by Kenneth Graham. Now, I used to, when I was little, I had these little plush Wind in the Willows characters, and I loved them to death. I carded them everywhere for a short time. Um, but I've never read this book. Um, I'm sure it's amazing, though. Uh, number 70, My Antonia. Is it Antonia or Antonia? I'm not really sure. By Willa Cather. I have read this book. Um, it was a couple years ago, I believe. A couple years ago? Um, yep, I definitely read that. 71 Wuthering Heights by Emily, Emily Bronte. I have read this. Great book. Um, what a tumultuous character Heathcliff is. Um, yeah, that was a good book. Number 72 Perfume by Patrick Suskind. I've never heard of this book. Uh, I don't know if I've ever heard of Patrick Suskind either. Um, no, I don't know if that sounds interesting to me at all. Uh, number 73, War and Peace by Leo Tolstoy. This is also on my TBR. This one for next year, though. So I will be getting to it. I have not read it. I did own a copy of it years and years ago. A friend gave it, gave it to me, but back then it seemed like incredibly daunting. Um, but from what I hear about it, it's actually a really good fast-paced read. So I'm actually looking forward to reading it. Uh, number 74, Of Human Bondage by Somerset Mom. I have not read this. Um... I don't really know anything about it. A man who falls in love with a loud but irresistible waitress is considered one of his finest books. Maybe. We'll see. I'm not really into romance, but we'll see. A romance, you know what I mean. Uh, 75 Bleak House by Charles Dickens. Now, people say they don't like this book, but somebody I saw who's a famous author um, said it was her favorite book. So I'm kind of really interested in reading it. Um, it is not on my TBR for next year, but I might read it the year after. 76, Lost Illusions by Honoré de Balzac. Nope, haven't read this. I've not read anything by that author before. Um, 77, Breakfast of Champions by Kurt Vonnegut. I've read some Kurt Vonnegut novels years and years ago. I don't believe this was one of them. Um, I don't know that I'm really interested in reading Vonnegut at this point in my life. Uh, 78, A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. I have not read this, but I know the story, of course, from many, many films. I don't think I'm interested in reading that Dickens. I know it's very short, so it's not like it would put me out if I, you know, picked it up. But I don't know if I really gain anything by reading it, but maybe. Number 79 is Silas Marner by George Eliot. I have not read this, but I am interested in reading it. 
um, number 80, Mrs. Dalloway by Virginia Woolf. Years ago I read it. I probably should reread it because I really don't remember much about it. I know basically the story, um, but I think it would be interesting to read it as an adult um, because I think I was in my late teens when I read that. I probably would benefit from a reread of that. Number 81, Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. Yes, I read this many years ago. Probably I was in high school when I read that. Great book, though. Uh, number 82, The Sea, The Sea by Iris Murdoch. I haven't read anything by Iris Murdoch, but Bob the Bookerer um, is a huge Iris Murdoch fan, and I'm actually interested in reading her books because he talked about her. I think he talked about this book, actually, and it sounded really interesting to me, so I think I might put this on my TBR, too, for some point. Number 83, The Godfather by Mario Puzo. I don't have any interest in reading this. I have not read it. I'm not really interested in mafia stories or any sort of like organized crime stories, um, so probably won't read that. Number 84, The Castle by Franz Kafka. I haven't read this book. I don't know if I've read anything by Kafka. I think I'm a little bit like intimidated by Kafka because it sounds, from what I know of him, that he's very philosophical and I don't tend to really understand that sort of writing. Um, so I don't know if I would read that or not. 85, I, Claudius by Robert Graves. I've not read this either. Um, ancient, it's about ancient Rome, of course. Mm, I don't know. Historical fiction and I have a love-hate relationship. There are some things about historical fiction that I like to read about and some things I don't, so I don't know if I would read that. 86, Peter Pan by J.M. Barry. I have not read this, but I'm actually really interested to read it. Um, I love the Peter Pan story, but I would like to know how it's written in the book, if, if it's much different than what I've seen in the media, which it probably is. Uh, number 87, A Confederacy of Dunces by John Kennedy Toole. Absolutely, I've read this. It's an amazing book. This is an example of a sort of comedic sort of novel that I actually like. And I think everybody should actually read this book if you haven't already. I think it's um, an exceptionally well-written book. The characters are hilarious, but also tragic, in my opinion. Number 88, The Razor's Edge by W. Somerset Mom. Another W. Somerset Mom. I have not read anything by this author, so no, I haven't read this. Um, grueling look at the devastating effects of post-war trauma and a philosophical journey to find meaning in life. I do sort of like post-war narratives, so that's possible. Usually I tend toward uh, the Second World War instead of the First World War, but uh, I'd be willing to give that one a go, I think. Uh, number 89, Lark Rise to Candleford by Flora Thompson. I've never heard of this book. I've also never heard of Flora Thompson. Uh, if anybody's read this book or knows anything by this author, let me know if it's worth my time. Um, so, possible. This is a possibility. A delightful portrait of country life at the end of the 19th century. Maybe. That's a time period I like, so we'll see. Uh, number 90, The Return of the Native by Thomas Hardy. I don't think I've read this book by Thomas Hardy. I believe I've read something else by him, but I don't think it was this one. It doesn't sound familiar. Um, 91, A Portrait of the Artist as a Young Man by James Joyce. Yeah. If you saw my March wrap-up, you know what I think about this book. Uh, I have read it, and I did not like it. 92, Heart of Darkness by Joseph Conrad. I did read this book a couple years ago. This, of course, is another one of those problematic books um, that you have to read from a historical lens. Um, don't remember if I liked it, to be honest with you. Um, 93, North and South by Elizabeth Gaskell. This is on my... TBR for this year. Um, so I will be getting to this book at some point soon. 94, The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. I have read this one. This is actually the only Atwood book that I have read, and I really did like it. I think I read this in 2005 or six, so a while ago. But of course I remember the story. It's all over everywhere. It was good. Uh, number 95, Sweet Francais by... Irene Nemirovsky. Um, nope, don't know anything about this book. I don't know who this is. Um, love, Finding Love and Hope in the Most Unexpected of Places. Hmm. Not really my vibe. 
Number 96, One Day in the Life of Ivan Denisovich, Denisovich? by Alexander Solzhenitsyn. Solzhenitsyn? Never heard of it. Uh, this deeply personal and unforgettable account of a day in the life at a Soviet labor camp in the 1950s. Oh, that's interesting. I don't know. I might, I might be interested in that. Number 97, What a Carve-Up by Jonathan Coe. Never heard of it. This is an example of a book cover that I don't think I would be interested to pick up by the cover alone. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe. It's about corruption and immoral activities in a family. Ooh, that might be good. Dark and wickedly funny. Maybe. Dark. That's good. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, number 98, The Zen and the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance by Robert Persig. I have not read this book. I don't know. It's a philosophy sort of kind of a thing. I don't know that I'm interested in reading it. I have up to this point in my life not been interested in reading it, even though I've seen it a million times. Um, so probably not. 99, White Nights by Fyodor Dostoevsky. I've not read this book. I actually have never heard of it before. Um, Themes of loneliness and, un and unrequited love told by a nameless narrator. I don't know. Of all the Dostoevsky's that I would get to, probably not that one. And 100, Hard Times by Charles Dickens, which I did read this year. Um, I liked it. I actually liked that book. Um, so that's it. That's the 100th book. 1 to 100 books and Penguin's list of 100 must-read classic books as chosen by our readers. I don't know who these readers are, but there are a lot of books that were missing from this that I maybe would rather have seen, and a lot of repeat authors where maybe they could have, you know, switched that up a bit, but if they're chosen by their readers, whoever those people are, um, I guess that was the point of that list. But yeah, I think I did pretty well. I've read quite a lot of classics, and I have a lot of them on my TBR. Um, always I am looking for classics to look, to add to my TBR anyway. So um, if you've been keeping score, let me know how many of these you've read, or if there's any um, by some of these authors that are listed that you would recommend that I said I wasn't sure of. Um, you know, let me know. Or if there's others by some of these people that you would prefer that should be on this list, let me know that too. I'd also be interested in that. So that's my video for today. Hope you liked it. Give me a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to the channel so you can see more videos in the future. Um, yeah, on Saturday, I'm not really sure if I'm going to be doing my Cujo reading wrap up video for my Stephen King project or if I'll be doing another writing video. I'm not really sure. I'm going back and forth on it. Um, so wait and see. But that's all I have for today, everybody. Uh, have a good one. I'll see you next time. Bye.